all right we are here in saint genevieve it is february 12th i had to remember the date um we're here for a chocolate walk it was supposed to be last saturday the 5th but it was canceled big due to weather and we're like 45 minutes late and there's like no one no one's walking around i've seen two people i did this like three or four years ago and it was pretty pretty busy but it's only 20 degrees so i'm pretty sure the weather is keeping everyone away so saint genevieve um is this is a small historic area french colonial they got some historic sites and stuff very nice all right so we got a red bag for the candy and then they gave us a little map but it's close to lunchtime and this pizza place is not busy so we're gonna get some pizza at um ciro's pizza all right, we got pizza, salad, garlic bread. It looks good. All right, we just had lunch. It's a good pizza place. There is actually a lot of people out doing the chocolate walk. I know right now it doesn't look like it. Yes, no, I don't know that we're going the right way because it do tend to get us lost. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to show this old building. It's not, I'm, going the wrong way. I'm not going the wrong way. Okay, I could be going the wrong way. I'm not going the wrong way. Bunch of historic sites. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> We're walking around. There is people. I'm just not seeing them at the moment. And I could be going the wrong way because it's not a trip until I get us lost. I mean, we've only been to this town a, a couple times. We're this far. Anyway, we've only been to this town a couple times. It's Main Street. It's this next corner. All right, I was going the right way. Mama was right that time. Mama was right. I just wanted to make a comment. So this, this was the first. All the other stuff has been prepackaged. This one had ice cream that you eat right there. Is by Cold Spoon Creamery. It is. Oh, my finger is in the way as usual. Um, it is the best ice cream that homemade ice cream i've had no i it was really good no i i have a new um whatever you call this and it makes me put my fingers in the wrong position i gotta switch it around You're because I'm, I'm usually good about not yeah. having my finger in the camera but with my new sprocket i keep messing up so anyway i just wanted to say cold spoon creamery that was awesome i liked how they had the homemade ice cream yeah. And we ate her right there and talked to her, and she was super nice. And they have open houses, and so I found her on Facebook because I definitely want to go check out her open house. So, anyway, we gotta find these other two places. He's a very happy cat. Just sitting there. He's got his own little chair. <laughs> Alright, quit being a cat hog, go to the other side. <laughs> quit being a cat hog. <laughs> Those are very unusual. <laughs> They're savannah cats. That's a distinctive breed. <laughs> so yeah, this is a savannah cat. I've seen them on Instagram, but never in person. They are beautiful. So beautiful. I don't like this. You just like your two owners and that's it? All right, I'll leave you alone. Goodness gracious. Let me just get a picture on this side. I'll, let me get a picture and then I'll leave you alone. I know. You're like, I, people, people. I just want a nap. Are you closing your eyes? <laughs> Such a beautiful cat. Yes, you are. <laughs> We're in the silversmith shop. Look, look at this. This old historic building. Oh, sorry. And it's a silversmith. So, and he's got all these workshops, 
but I like just the combination of a newer building with the older stone building. And they're the ones with the Savannah Cats, pewter bottles, all kinds of cool. Here's another shop or different stages. I'm pretty sure they give like seminars and stuff, but pretty cool. And my husband's like, I, all he cares about is the cat. They have Savannah Cats. Look at that. Candlesticks, goblets, plates, little holes. <laughs> <Yes. Come on. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, we just finished the um, St. Genevieve chocolate walk. So um, there was 22 stops, and I didn't think we were going to get them all because if you can see on each corner, there's one that you had to drive to. Three of them we technically had to drive to, but we weren't giving up. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little windy and cold. And um, so we got all 22. When I get home, I'll spread out all the candy. Um, it was all prepackaged chocolates. Uh, one we ate because it was ice cream. And yeah, it was some of the businesses went all out and some of them didn't. But overall, it was one of the better chocolate walks that we've been on. We've been on quite a few chocolate walks. So I really enjoyed it. And I, I did this like, I don't know, four or five years ago. I couldn't, I didn't remember that St. Genevieve was this cool, it's very historic. Um, a lot of old, like early American buildings. Um, I really enjoy history like that and so it was nice. There are a couple buildings that you can go in and there's a couple buildings that you have to buy tickets to tour, but um, just walking around, if you like old historic America, it is pretty cool. And I was talking to one of the, um, business owners or an art gallery owner and she said they actually have festivals all throughout the year i didn't know that it was an hour drive from our house but not a bad drive right yeah it's so um i would do this a lot more um she said there's a cookie festival she just didn't know what month and she said that they have christmas stuff and i'm definitely going to look into that something different than the stuff that the same stuff that we do every year i definitely would like to do something different so yeah we'll definitely be back to definitely how many times can I say definitely today? <laughs> we'll definitely be back to St. Genevieve. So anyway, when I get home, I'll show everything we got. And yeah, uh, it's just, it's 20 degrees. It's cold, extremely cold, but you go inside businesses, so you warm up pretty quickly. Do you have anything you'd like to add, Robert? Um, if I will say this is more like a girl's trip, my husband was probably, only like the fifth husband that was brought today every all other groups were just a whole bunch of women but he's kind of used to that because I drag him along everywhere <laughs> so bring your husband but if you're looking for a girl's trip it would make a good girl's trip too so anyway see you later we are back home from downtown St. Genevieve so this is all the chocolate walk items so the the stores they were like boutiques they were art galleries there was a couple restaurants so just definitely a wide range of shops very nice this is the little map and then when you went into the store they'd either like they're the ones who did the check marks cross it off the tea shop actually had a stamp i thought that was very cool um so yeah cute little souvenir for my junk journal and speaking of junk journals there um i saw junk journals for sale twice once in the art gallery and once in a boutique so i thought that was pretty cool that um it's just not on the internet that people are selling junk journals and let's see let's look at the chocolates and so it was just a wide range um like one of my favorites here at the there was a honey shop a honey shop and so they have a honey stick and a piece of chocolate and then at a florist shop this is like popcorn and there's some, I'm assuming this is a piece of chocolate in here the tea shop I like their packaging the best this is very nice it is some kind of uh, I think like a chocolate bark with lots of spices um, the owner and his wife was explaining it they were so nice definitely one of my favorite shops that was a tea spice shop it's, here's a fudge a couple places did fudge here's a chocolate fudge here is a white chocolate fudge that's extremely soft. Here is, and so some places would attach a business card 
Here is like a caramel bark. Don't know what this is, some kind of chocolate. Um, most people made them. A couple people um, just used uh, pre-bought chocolates. The European shop used pre-bought chocolate. I didn't mind, because this is unique chocolate. We got one chocolate dipped spoon, you know, for hot chocolates. Uh, chocolate covered pretzel. This was from the pizza place that we ended up eating at. It was really, really good. Another piece of fudge. A couple chocolate covered Oreos. Um, some more chocolate bark. Here is a chocolate cake pop. That was, I think, from a clothing shop. Oh, this is actually a Ritz cracker covered in chocolate. Um, a heart chocolate cookie. So definitely a nice assortment. Um, good old chocolate stars. These are actually handmade stars. Um, remember when branches made stars? They're kind of hard to find, so that was cool. And then I did actually buy a couple things at the honey shop. I bought this honey dispenser. Um, I, I swear I got lots of honey containers, but this looked unique, so I want unique. So I got this, and then I bought these measuring spoons. I just like the honey bee motif on it. And from the tea shop, which I really like the tea shop, the guy, the owners were so nice. I got this mixed coconut crush chai. There was a European themed gift shop, so I got these biscuits. I got this chocolate tin of little um, uh, caramel chocolates and then i got this thing of napkins i buy nap if you're always like why are you always buying napkins i don't actually use these in my kitchen i buy napkins to decoupage with so this is for arts and crafts um so yeah it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed this chocolate walk it's the first chocolate walk that i went to this year um and at the drive home i researched saint genevieve and they have several festivals they have like a colonial days in June that we're definitely going to go to. They have a cookie walk in November. They have another festival in August. So definitely I'm going to do those festivals this year. So um, subscribe to my channel and you will see some future videos. We just like to go to different um, festivals and stuff. And you also know I do junk journaling. And so it's nice when we have a souvenir I can put in my junk journal. And we, we stopped by the visitor center and they had... A map of the town so that was interesting and like most historic towns there is a river nearby um, and it just was cute it was just a cute historic town thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later